just about set. Flag's about to come up, and they sent on their journey. Isla Marauder, once again, very slow to begin as last for the time being with Lady Lou and Dark Moon down there, the last trio. Ginger's path to glory, first one to break the line at the 15 peg by two. Super flu, keep on dancing. Preferentials, hard held in the orange to Pella Honey's the grey Zernia. Lady Sharon, Bassett Sana, Dark Moon down, it's a pleasure. Go away, girl. Isla Marada second to last. And Lady Lou has dropped anchor and races about 11 lengths off the leaders. Ginger's path to glory into the turn, 1100 to go. Super Fluke is second, keep on dancing. Preferential in the orange and blue silks is tapped up towards the inside, only four lengths off them. Zernia to Pella Honey. Busset Sana, Lady Sharon, Dark Moon down. Galway girls further back in the running. Isla Marauders now 10 lengths off them. It's a pleasure. And Lady Lou, they the last trio. Coming to the final 600 metres and Ginger's path to glory, trying to go from barrier to box. Super Fluke, the Red Blinkers, first one to attack. Preferentials on the prowl and looms large on the right-hand side. 400 metres to go, Super Fluke now. Preferential becomes the danger. Preferential and Super Fluke, but Preferential's gone right past them. Isla Marauders making good progress towards the inside and Lady Lou's also running on strongly. Preferential's clear, I'd say, two lengths on the grandstand side. Lady Lou's on the inside, but Preferential now just looking for the post and I think she's going to find it. Preferential from Lady Lou. Isla Marauda and then came Dark Moon down. Basset Sana to Pella Honey. So Preferential made a winning move at the top of the lane and Lady Lou started to run on strong. Isla Marauders just in behind, but Preferential and Anton Marcus, they moved at the right moment and they keep up the momentum by a half a length decision. Preferential is the winner. 10 Lady Lou second, Isla Marauder third, and Dark Moon down number three runs fourth. Basset Sana to Pella Honey. In front, Super Fluke, but Preferential came to the outside rail, made the presence felt. It looked like she'd go on to win comfortably, and that last 200 metres, Isla Marauda and Lady Lou, they both make up good ground, but Lady Lou is running on strong, but Preferential made the move and keeps up the momentum for the victory. Back to the studio. Race number five is uh, been done and dusted, and it's gone the way of uh, Kevin Shea's selection number one, Preferential, the daughter of Master of My Fate, for Mr. Sugulum, Lamascrolls, Skrull. Let me start that again. Lamascrolls, Stud. Anton Marcus has done the duty, and with me is Alison. Alison, uh, lovely win from this horse. Thanks for your comments before the race. You're, you're obviously thrilled. Yeah, Warren, well done uh, to Rakesh. You know, um, she's been very patient with her. She, she has let us down, and like I say, she, she certainly hasn't brought, brought water homework to the track, and uh, we decided to put the blinkers on, and it seems to work. Still think that this um, might be a little bit too far for her, but i um, thrilled to be in the winner's box. Well done to Anton, and um, well done to uh, her groom, Temba, too. Um, he had a winner with M Moons Up last week, and uh, yeah, he's, he looks after this filly as well. So well done to the team at home. Very happy. Mr. Sugulam has certainly been a staunch supporter of yours and uh, the staunch supporter of racing. Um, he's well known in the game. He deserves every winner. Uh, he must be thrilled, and uh, no doubt he'll be on the phone to you shortly. Yeah, um, he deserves all, all the success. You know, he does put a, a lot of money into the game, and um, we're very grateful for his support. And yeah, I wish him many more winners. Well done, Alison. Anton's back. Let's have a word with him. Thanks. Just well done to um, Lama Scroll Stud and to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. Thanks. Lovely. Lovely to talk to Alison. <laughs> Lovely to have some uh, banter in the parade ring. Well done, Anton. A good, courageous win. You've made a lot of people happy here. You're certainly not out of turn. If anything, I think she's been quite disappointing because she puts up, you know, way, way above average work at home, you know. Because delighted to get one for Kevin and Alison. 
Um, it's actually the first ride I, I've asked him for the whole season. I think the other three, they've just put me out of all run and place. So, Kev, <laughs> um, and just well done to Rakesh. Spoken to him a couple, of, a couple of times over the phone. Never met him, though, but just delighted to get one on the board, Warren. The blinkers, if my memory serves correct, the blinkers were on this horse, uh, and uh, clearly, now that we're in the winner's enclosure, it was the right way to go. You know, um, maybe it was out of desperation, because the work at home is, there, is really that good. Without the, without the cups, you know. But just as I said, maybe now that she's got a head in front, and um, she'll gain confidence. We'd like to see you again today, if, if uh, we could. Uh, who do you think it could be? Oh, look, depending on winter blues, there's a bit of a tailwind out there. If he doesn't get too far out of his ground, I thought, I thought he had some kind of a chance. And I think far and what you see is what you get. Lovely. And of course, uh, Ridgemont Highlands, well, wonderful to get them into the winner's enclosure again. As always, Wayne Millen and the boys, thank you. Lovely chatting, Anton. Anton Marcus, he's in the winner's enclosure, preferential. The statistics read with preferential. Now they read jockey and horse. Four rides, two wins for one second. So Anton knows how to get preferential to perform. And he's done just that today.